I think I might be allergic to the radioactive waste. Well, this sure doesn't look friendly. And that's a body. Well, let's create more. Try, don't give you that much. They're here. Another notch for the gun. Yeah, apparently I am. Hey, up here on the balcony. Yeah, you go. Settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Oh, I'm. Up to Shadi. I don't think this is natural technology, but uh, but I don't fucking mind. Oh, uh -huh. Let's look at it along. Alert, alert. You don't say Sherlock Holmes. Fucking fantastic. More. Just like my... No. That's not like that joke. me. Uh, it was the dog. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop looking for the fucking pants here. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit and I'll gut you myself. Shut your mouth or we'll never get the drop on this guy. Didn't work out as intended. Oh well. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna shit every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back. You won't be dead. Who's there? <laughs> I can't believe that fucking worked. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? Good for you. We could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Uh... I mean, sure, but I, I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Are you? Well, the police for you. Are they also a minimum like you? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. Now we're fine. It's just me, 
the long, Marcy and June? That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. What the fuck is a ghoul? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls wow. are... Irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. Ooh. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time. But they're still just people. Now, the shut the about, fuck up. Different. Radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. I mean, oh, let me hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. No. You might have seen it. No, 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 no. Well, looks like one of its oh. passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. Even it's more no. A full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Do you lick it? Just hear me out. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. <laughs> Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Great, 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 great. Fantastic. You are absolutely bonkers. That is a fucking mission straight to hell. I mean, I suppose it could work. Look, new guy. Don't know what cave you're from, don't care. But you need to shake off the cobwebs and smell the cordite. Or we're all dead anyway. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Uh, I hate both of you. Uh, I suppose that's something. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's angry. Yeah, no, that's just me. <sighs> Hi. What's up, buddy? We good? No, no, no. No, no, no. <sighs> Glad to meet you, too. And what's about you, Pacey McGee? We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. Somebody well, the do door's something. open, and the balcony's right there. You choose, sour face. Ah, uh, bubble head. Fuck you. Actually, before we go, do you, uh, uh, okay, I had a question to ask Daryl, but um, guess I'll see you later. Uh, what's going on here? Do you know? When Megan Hayes arrived, one month before the bombs fell. She was filled with excitement over her new position in the Museum of Freedom. When everyone saw the flashes and felt the rumble, they just left. Mr. Nash, David, and even Susan rushed out, leaving Megan alone in the museum. With her own family far away, she didn't really know anyone in Massachusetts and had nowhere to go. The soldiers, confused from the crash with their vertebrate, were in panic and perceived everyone as threat. So she hid from them, hoping for a rescue that never came. Inside the museum, there are several historical items of interest that describe the history of Boston. Please proceed with caution when entering the location, as the think tank has often seen raiders holed up inside. Oh. Right. Personal log United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Canawa were shot by some scared desperate survivors.
Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Work, why work? Oh. Get down here. Show me that fancy gun up close. Okay. That is uh, something to keep in mind. Oh! Hey, Mama Murphy, I found the angry thing. I think the angry thing found me. Am I really a person who want to be? I shot. Oh, oh, absolutely not. Fuck you. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, huh, bitch? Oh. Fuck off. That's what you're gonna do. Say. Oh goodness. I don't like that. I suppose I should go back and tell them that that giant list is now gone and I'm one step closer to death. That scared me a bit, so now I am a step closer once again. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Yeah. Just be happy I don't punch a hole through your stomach right now, because I am... Fucking livid. Hmm. You know, you talk like a jerk, but you still helped us out, whether you wanted to or not. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you a lot. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Bottle caps? Bottle cap? What the fuck do I need bottle caps for? Is this the currency now? Why? What is it backed by? It's not backed by gold, I can fucking almost guarantee you that. I cannot, yeah, sure, whatever. Bottle caps. That's the new currency of the world. <clears throat> uh, just. Sure. I'll, I, I'll take it. Hmm. Spoken like a true merc. Well, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one complaining about bottle caps as currency because it doesn't make sense. Someone like you, someone who can get things done. No, absolutely not. You fucking pushover cunts. I will stay near you guys. It's in a symbiotic relationship, but I will not be taking care of you guys. I will not be living with you or sharing anything with you ever so kindly. Don't get into my life. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. No, no, no. no. You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd. And now you want us to take Not my old not my old neighbor. No. Cuz so that's why I was planning on living. Oh. Okay. Fuck off! Guess I'll go live in, in the truck stop that was nearby. Yeah, sure, sounds Coming good with us enough. To sanctuary. I'm only walking with you because it was gonna be awkward if I ran ahead and you just passed me, but later. Oh, yeah. I want to see something cool. <laughs> oh, 
Oof. No? Okay. Tough crowd. Like Looks like you she want to see my scar. Well, look at that. Uh, I my new vacation home. Doesn't really live up to what I was told it would be. Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get the sanctuary first, though. Uh, uh nope. You're not touching that. That's mine. Back off. Ah, uh, see, they get it. You know, if you're gonna stay here, you could at least repair the bridge. Don't think it's in too good shape. Preston, Preston, Preston. Uh, you, hmm. See, so you like to live dangerously, or at least stupidly. It's a thin line, really. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Yeah. We'll get a place to call home. And I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. We're still hoping there are many men. Tell me, the only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Yeah, Daryl, do you think you can go help out with the settlement? Because he wasn't looking at me, he was looking at you. Have you heard of eye contact? I may be the autistic one, but um, I can still obtain eye contact. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. I in fact do not. Bye.